Namaste, guys. Welcome to my channel. Right, I've had some scrambled egg. And I've had a cup of tea. Well, I haven't had a cup of tea. So I'm doing my favourite. I've got to have a fag. I've literally just got off that video i just done. Right. I was in the kitchen. And I kept hearing, Oh, when the saints come marching in. Oh, when the saints come marching in. I can't sing, but anyway. I'll let you know. So I don't know if you like that song. Or I don't know what it means yet. But I kept on um, singing it, and then I started dancing in the kitchen. And oh, when the saints come marching in. Oh, when the saints come marching in. Maybe you like that. Maybe your angels and that, and your saints are coming in. They're coming in. Something's going on. But anyway, tell me if it resonates. You're dying for this. Right, cup of tea. Go and get a cup of tea or coffee. I think I drank too much coffee today. So I've got a cup of tea. I am going to start off with some angel cards, guys. So we're not in that energy. And then what I'm going to do is do you a prayer. If you haven't seen me before, I'm Kerry. Howdy. And I'm very real. I'm an intuitive psychic reader. And, um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so I don't know why, but I'm drawn to it. I don't know why I just picked these up. I've obviously had to pick these up for a reason. These are my cards I've had for, like, years. Like, 30 or years. So, obviously, I'm supposed to do these. Let me get the tin open. <laughs> these are my magical unicorn cards. You might like unicorns, but I do like these. And I've just, my hand just went there and picked them up. And I don't use these very often. Don't worry, it's not bad energy. It's just my scrambled egg and I had a jam sandwich as well. Because I had to have something sweet. Right, let's have a look. Let go of stress. Don't take on other people's stress. Breathe it out now. Because that was stressful, that reading. Don't take on other people's stress. Listen, there's no one... Well, I was going to say, there's only like... No one's innocent in this, what's going on, apart from you. That's what I was told in the kitchen, all right? These people, whatever's going on, they are not innocent, okay? If it's a male, female, whatever, friends, whatever, none of these people are innocent, okay? They've all got their own little hidden agendas. So, take the readers that fits what I just did about the... um person feeling bad but it is karma okay and these people were all involved in trying to take you out and i was told this while i was eating me um scrambled egg that there's nobody innocent in this apart from you so just know this is only a reading all right guys Let's see if this resonates exercise run walk swim or otherwise move your body this will give you more energy and happiness some of you might be a little bit stagnated or maybe you need to get out more now and start walking what are you two doing karma my dogs are doing something what are they up to see look they're running around having exercise what are you up to what's going on are you being good i hope so because you look very mischievous karma all right Behave yourself. I can hear you doing something. <laughs> Behave yourself. Right. You might be feeling a bit mischievous. Right. So run, walk, swim, or otherwise exercise your body. You might be doing more exercise. You might be walking around where there's flowers. Maybe you need to walk around barefooted. I love doing that. It's grounding. If you can, if you've got no dog poo where you live, and you're going to stand in some dog poo, although my nan used to say it's good luck to stand in dog poo. Don't know why. Ain't that lucky, is it? To have poo between your toes. You might have a waterfall near you, or mountains, or cliffs, or, like, water trickles down. You might live near the mountains, you know, because there's, like, mountains behind, like, cliffs and flowers. Alpha showed you the card again, wasn't it? Maybe you need to get out and have a little walk about. Maybe that's what you've been doing. I will read you that card, but I don't feel like reading on it just yet. So let's have a shuffle. Hope you're right, guys. Just take these reads with a pinch of salt, okay? Because it's only like energy, what's going on in the background. And at the minute, I don't think any of this really concerns you. Well, it does concern you, but my dog's being a right little sod. What are you up to? You're going to interrupt. There's going to be interruptions. <laughs> Someone's probably running around going, Rah! Right, let's see what we got. And see we get something a bit more uplifting and a bit more happy. <laughs> Not so depressing. I don't feel sick now. That was awful, that feeling on that last read. Oh, way, that one flew out on me cherubs. Brothers and sisters. To get along with others, see the love 
and the best within them. Brothers and sisters. So that could mean all of us lot as in brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Or it could mean it's about your brothers and sisters. Maybe you might need to get in contact with some brothers and sisters. But it fell on the cherub, so it might be to do with love. Because when I got the card out, it fell on them. They're my cherubs for love. <laughs> so let's have a look. Brothers and sisters, exercise. To get along with others, see love and the best within them. Right, brothers and sisters. Let's have a look. Right, don't let me get this card out, to be honest with you, not really. Right, let's have a look. Sometimes family members take stress out on each other. So you may feel angry or hurt by a brother or sister or a close friend. Instead of fighting with them, first take a moment and think, can you see the best within them? Can you think of a time when you felt a lot of love for them? By thinking and feeling love towards your brothers and sisters, you can all get along better. The more unlovable someone is, the more they need love. When people get angry at their loved ones, they do so because they don't know how to control the stress in their life. They might be angry with their teacher or boss and feel like they can't do anything about it. So they take the anger out on the people they live with. And that might include you. You may do the same thing to your family members without even knowing it. My nose is itching. Oh, angels. Deep down, you all love each other. Family members always have love. But sometimes this love is hidden by anger. It doesn't feel good to be angry with your brothers and sisters. Even if you have a good reason for the anger. Can you forgive them in the same way? Sorry, can you forgive them in the name of peace? Can you be the first one to say, I'm sorry, or I love you? By drawing this card, the unicorns want you to know that your brother, sister, or friend really needs your love and understanding right now. You have the power to help everyone get along. So you might be having some arguments in the family, or it might be somebody like, it could be an ex or whatever, yeah? Someone needs your love or needs to know they're loved, and they're very angry. This is like resonating with the last read, because I felt that so badly. Right, so you have the power to help everyone get along. So take it where it fits, guys. It could be your brother and sister, someone, like friends, like we call each other sisters and brothers here. So it's just somebody needs love. Right, let's read this exercise one. And see what this is about. Probably means you just need to get out. Right. If I hold the card up here, it goes wonky because I get the shakes. I'll put my elbow on the table. But if I move it like this while I'm reading, just take the notice. And if you shout, I can't hear you to come back. <laughs> That's that. Right. Exercise helps you breathe air deeply, which makes your body feel alive and awake. Breathing air so deeply it can also spark new ideas and answers to your question right this card asks you to exercise more often to take your life to a higher level <clears throat> excuse me somebody you may not feel like ex sorry sometimes you may not feel like exercising because you're bored or you're tired or you're just busy yeah, even just a little activity can make you feel much better than you did before. It's worth the time and trouble to exercise because afterwards you'll have more energy to play or get your chores and other work done. Exercise helps you sleep better, which improves your outlook and moods. Plus, it's the best way to deal with stress. After you're done exercising, you'll forget about any troubles or you'll have answers to help you deal with them. So maybe some of you need to go for a walk. Just go and get some exercise. Maybe get your exercise mat out. Do a bit of yoga. Have a dance if you don't want exercise. I love dancing. But I love walking. I love walking. Walking's like my addiction. But yeah, so maybe some of you need to run. Maybe go swimming. Just move your body. Do what I do. I get material. And then um, I just like fly around with material. Sometimes I just stand in the kitchen and go, Whoa, and just shake everything out. And just shake all your bad energy off. If you hear banging, it's my dog. has got his chew. Right. So you need to exercise. 
maybe some of you are just feeling like stressful in general. Or like I said, you might not be getting out a lot. Right, let's have a look because I'm still drawn to these. I hope that's your chew, your um, chewing karma, not my sofa. <laughs> Seriously. If I leave these dogs unattended, it's like having kids. They play up. I got up this morning. I never let them stay in the lounge when they're sleeping, but I did last night because they were well cosy. What are you there this morning? Pillars on the floor. Like It's like they've had a little party, mate. I was like, what have you done in here, you two? They had a right wow of a time. They wreck my house, these dogs do, but I love them. And if you do have dogs, you just got to let them... Well, not let them wreck the house, but they've got to live here like we have. You might have a change coming in, guys. Something you wished for, I'm getting. You might have wished for a change. Yeah, look, again, wish upon a star. Make a wish and expect the very best. Oh, I love this card. Just be yourself. You're a great person. Enjoy being yourself. Look at him. I love this card. Look how happy he is. Look, a little bit of a dove there. Oh, that might be you. You've come all that way. Look, all the way down. Climbed over that mountain. Look, and then you've come onto nice green grass. Maybe you've got a couple of little pets. You've come for a really, like... Big forest. Yeah, look, I'm getting follow the yellow brick road on that. Oh, I'm getting you've travelled quite far to where you are now. I don't know if we picked that up on this card. Look how happy he is. Look, just be yourself. He's even doing it without a saddle on. I love that. I do. I always love that. Just be yourself. Maybe you are childlike. Oh, I'm going really goosey. Maybe you are childlike now. And you feel like you're a child again. You need to forgive. It's time to let go of anger or blame. You might live by the sea. Or you might want to go by the sea. Oh, look. Maybe you like horses. Maybe you've got places around you with horses. Wish upon a star, guys. Because it keeps coming up for you. Yeah, look. Forgive again. And pets. Yeah, you love and understand animals. Maybe take your pets out for a walk. You need to forgive something. Let go of anger and blame. Let's see if we get it again. Yeah, I'm going to read forgive because it's coming up again. Forgive. The best way to be good at a skill is to practice, practice, practice until you get it right. I go unguided, guys. So, literally, you might be training your pet. You don't have to be a horse. You might be training your dog or your whatever you've got. I wish I looked like her. <laughs> seriously i want a tambourine i really want a tambourine i've got to get one because i want to have a little dance around for tambourine oh i love it right forgive oh you might be blonde oh i like that i nearly went for my prayer book then right forgive let's have a look forgiving is for you guys not for the other person it's so you feel better and you don't let someone store up in your head and you don't take on what they put on you. So when you forgive, you let it go. It's not, it is forgiving them, but it's forgiving them for like putting their burdens on you and what they've done to you. Are you blaming someone or something? Are you feeling angry? This card tells you that blame and anger are holding you back. Blame takes away your power and gives it to the other person. It does. It does. Because then you're letting them win and you're letting them, like, be in your head rent free. You have a lot of power. And one way to feel it is by letting your anger go. You don't need to forgive the other person's actions if they really hurt you. But you do need to stop seeing that person as an enemy. Because this anger is toxic to you and your body. Maybe that's why you need to move around a little bit or start exercising. Maybe you've got a lot of trauma in your body. And um, that's where we store it, you know. We store it in our body rather than our head. Right, you know that happy thoughts make your life happy. Well, angry thoughts can bring more anger into your life. The unicorns know that this isn't what you want. So they ask you to give your anger to them. Or angels, whatever you believe in, guys, all right? Being free of anger and blame gives you more power and energy. Sorry, <laughs> energy. And makes you feel happy. Are you mad at yourself for some reason? If so, this card means that you need to forgive yourself. You can learn from your past and grow much stronger by letting go of anger towards yourself. You can do this by understanding why you acted as you did. 
you probably had a good reason for your actions at the time. Now, after thinking about it, you may wish that you had acted differently. But regrets aren't helpful unless they help you learn. Everyone is learning as they go through life, even adults. Do your best to understand this and you'll be able to let go of anger towards yourself and others. What are you doing? Lay down. You always look so mischievous. You always, I thought he was wrecking my bed then. Sorry, guys. Right, so everyone is learning as they go through life, even adults. Do your best to understand this and you'll be able to let go of anger towards yourself and others. This is what it means to forgive. So you might want to forgive yourself. You know your own story or you might want to forgive someone else and then it will stop you feeling stressed and angry, okay? But you need to wish upon a star about something. I used to find it really hard to forgive. Oh, yeah. Took me a few goes, mate, and it did. Because I was like, why should I forgive? Why should I forgive? I, I don't should forgive them. I don't feel like I want to forgive them. But it did make me angry. And it made me go around like a right angry little bird. And, um, yeah, and it wasn't doing me no good. And then what, I just got so fed up with being angry. I thought, do you know what? Look, and that's true. I just got so fed up being angry. And I thought, you know what? I need to, like, let go of this and just forgive people. And I had to forgive myself for a lot as well. Like, being a crap mum and, like, jobs that I've done and... Well, trusting people I shouldn't have trusted and um, just forgive my... I forgot to forgive myself for a lot. When I was going through my awakening, I fell to the floor and was disgusted in myself, things I'd done. But it makes you feel so much better. And have a cry if you can. And um, you don't want to walk around with loads of, like, hate in you. It don't make you a nice person. And um, like it says, it's, it's for you. It's not for anyone else. No one has to know that you forgive them. You know that, didn't you? Like, if you forgive somebody, you don't have to tell them. If someone wants you to forgive them, oh, please forgive me. No, that's for them. That's for them, because they want to make themselves feel better. And you don't have to tell people you forgive them. You forgive them, and it's between you and God, or you and your angels. It's nothing to do with the person. They've, got enough t they've had enough time in your head. So you just do it. My ear's buzzing. You just do it for you. And um, you don't need to tell anyone anything. It's just keep things to yourself. Yeah, true. Something you're um, asking about might be the truth. You might get the truth, I'm feeling, on this card. Maybe a truth's coming out, I'm feeling. But what I'm saying is true. You might definitely live near mountains, you know. We might be going away near mountains. Look at that light, look at that sun. The sun is definitely shining on you. Maybe something's going to shine a light on something I just got. The truth is going to shine out. I think someone's going to shine a light on the truth, you know. Let's have a little read of that. Because I am drawn to that. And I'm going really goosey in a good way. Oh, it's come straight out on the book. Straight away. That was for you. We need to read this, guys. Straight away that opened on true. Right. This card wants you to know that you're correct in what you're thinking about this situation. You already know the truth. Even if it's knowledge that's held deeply in your heart, take a moment and feel what your body says about the situation. Your body also knows the truth and it will tell it to you if you will just stop and listen. You can also hear the truth from your angels. Close your eyes, take a deep breath and silently ask a question. Then listen to the words that come into your mind. Your angels always tell the truth. They use words and feelings of love and warmth, even if they're telling you something that you don't want to hear, such as asking you to make a life change that you don't feel ready for. This card also asks you to tell the truth to yourself and others. As long as you speak like the angels do and use loving words and actions, it's best to be truthful. If you're afraid to tell the truth, ask Archangel Michael to give you courage and protection. He'll also help you know exactly what to say and do so that everyone will benefit. So you might need to speak your truth or you might just want to tell someone the truth. Or you might just live by the truth. I don't lie here. This is the truthful place here. Because I cannot stand liars. I was brought up with liars. I can spot a liar a mile. Sometimes I won't let you know that I know you're lying. And I will not trick people. 
but I'll let you dig yourself a really big hole and keep lying. Then I'll question you about it and I will make people look stupid that lie because I cannot... What is wrong with people telling the truth? Sometimes it might hurt. Sometimes the truth does good for people. There's too many people in this world that lie and they believe their own lies as well. I, my memory's not that good enough to be a liar. It's seriously not because I ain't got time for it because I've always got new things I want to talk about and I like to talk without a filter. It's the best way for me, mate, is to tell the truth and people here do think I'm a bit cutting sometimes but I just say what everyone else is thinking and it stops conversations getting boring because when people sit and go, well, did you say so? Well, no, no, I didn't mean it was you. I go, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You did mean it was them. Why don't you just tell them they're standing here now? Tell them. If it's annoying you, just tell them. I'm like that because I can't be having pointless conversations with people that are just full of like, what a waste of energy. Talking a load of rubbish. People love to chat rubbish. I'll only have a conversation with people if the conversation is meaningful and it's got a bit of substance to it. This might resonate with you. I cannot stand there listening to gossip. I can't sit in neighbours' houses listening to gossip. I will talk to someone. As soon as they start talking about one of my neighbours, or tell someone, even if I don't like them, you won't talk about people in front of me, because I won't have it. I'll either say, look, I'm going to go now, because I can't be interested in listening to this rubbish. Or I'll go, well, why don't you go and tell them? Because I'm not interested. And I don't want to be involved in people that talk about people, because... Um, I'll just say it in front of you. <laughs> I don't care because I would love it if someone told me the truth about stuff. Someone don't like me, tell me. Sometimes I might need to improve on myself. Sometimes you might need to improve on yourself. But truth is the best way. And it's not always, um, it's not great to lie. It's really a waste of breath and a waste of energy lying. And more people need to live by the truth because then uh, more people will wake up to the truth and what they um, need to be, like, need to fix in their life. I listen to people. I mean, it's hard to know sometimes if you're like a normal person, what's the truth and what's not. But I know a liar when I see one because I'm very intuitive and I'm guided by my angels. So like I said, I won't even let you um, know that I know you're lying. I'll just let you dig a hole. And exercise just come out again, okay? It flipped over. So you need to go and exercise, guys. Right, what am I guided to? Because I just want to keep this positive. So maybe there is a truth coming out. Just take it where it fits. Or you're just a very truthful person. Oh, last night I sat. Money, money might be coming to money. Might be a truth about some money. I always get itchy when you're on it. When I'm on here with you. Um, last night I sat in the living room. I was talking to God, and I said, "Oh, thank you." I was thanking him, and I said, "You know what I feel like, Father? That because I never really had parents look after me. They were diabolical. And my dad was always in prison. My mum was always drunk or shagging the neighbours." And um, I was always on my own. I was a latchkey kid. I was never allowed the kids. My mum was very controlling. She was a narcissist. And the reason I loved the rain is because my mum always left me outside. Or she used to chuck me out when it was raining to punish me. And I ended up loving it. I danced in the puddles and thought it was great. And I loved the rain. And um, that's why I never get colds. Because <laughs> I was always in the rain. And um, what was I going to say? Yes, I was sitting there last night talking to God. And I was like, oh, thank you. I love you being my father. Like, I feel like you hold me in your hands. Like, I'm going all goose pimply. Well, God pimply. I said, I feel like you hold me in your hands and you just, like, go, come on, Harry. Like, I'm going to look after you like you should have been looked after when you were younger. And, like, you just sort of got your little, like, got your big hands behind me and go, come on, come on, it's all right. I've got you. If you fall, I'll catch you. And this is what I was talking like. Anyway, last night, I pulled these before I went to bed. And you won't believe what come out. You're in God's hands. I went, I love you. And I just thought, I'll have a little shuffle. Before, yeah, it came up. I don't know where it is. It's put, um, it said about me being in God's hands. I couldn't believe it. I said, you know what, God? I love you. Let anyone tell me that God ain't true and God's not real. Because I'll tell you what, if you knew me before, you'd know God's real. The way he's changed my life and guided me and um, helped me with my awakening. I've got to show you this just to uh, show you. I couldn't believe it. It came out, yeah in God's hands and I tell you what I could have cried but I thought I'm not going to cry because I'm in a really happy mood and I'll tell you what I love God so much and I do and God is just always there talk to God all the time there it is look and when I've done my cards look what came out I couldn't believe it look in God's hands I just stood there like I love you so much and it said my trust in life is implicit God's greater knowing and greatest love guide my heart and my choices my faith is steady and I remain true to my light. 
everything unfolds according to God's will. And then I went to bed. And then I had a lovely sleep, yeah. And I was talking about five minutes from the living room, going, I feel like you're, I'm in your hands, I'm in God's hands. And he answered me to go, you are in God's hands. That might resonate with you. But yeah, people who tell me I don't believe in God, I just laugh at them. Because if you knew me, what I was like before, you'd believe, you'd believe in God, what God's done in my life. Because I love God, I adore God, and I do. And I walk with Jesus every day. And uh, I know God protects me. Everything turns to light. I work to improve myself. Embrace all that life brings to me and transform darkness into light. I allow myself to grow and become stronger. You are the light, guys, and you are. And you are very strong. I know you've grown a lot stronger. And maybe you'll be very good to teach other people how to get into the light. And how they can improve their selves and embrace life. Maybe you can help people transform from the darkness into the light. And just help people just grow and be strong. Isn't it lovely? Belief. I believe in myself, the beauty of life and the goodness of God. Thus, I have the power to fulfil my dreams. The will of the Almighty supports me. My life is showered in divine light. And my heart opens to the power of the universe. Isn't that lovely? My dog's having a lick. <laughs> having a good old lick, Jets. Right, let's have a look. See what we got. I think my dog's got bad teeth because she keeps licking. Peace. Stop it. Right. I am unwavering in the face of fear. I come to my senses and embrace challenge. Should say challenges, but it says challenge. These are very misread sometimes, these cards. Look, challenge. Look, it should say challenges. I am unwavering in the face of fear. I come to my senses and embrace challenges. I am determined to think with gentleness and calm. I find inner silence and become a manifestation of peace. I feel like you are living in peace at the moment. So drawn to these cards. They're so beautiful, aren't they? Have a little read if you can. I think you are in a lot of peace. Maybe you need to just stay in peace. Maybe you're loving peace and you just have the belief in peace. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Love these cards. So, right, should I do a different deck or... Do these ones. No, I'm supposed to be doing these ones. See what else we got from Angels and Ancestors. I hope you're right, guys. And you have a really good day today. Maybe you're having a peaceful day and you just want to relax. And just, like, be yourselves. And maybe go within a little bit. No, they're not giving me them. Should I just go to a different deck then? <laughs> maybe that's it for these ones. They won't give them to me if they don't want to. I have to go out, oh, whoa, acceptance, oh, acceptance, the voice of the heart and wisdom, I love them, they're gorgeous, I haven't seen all these cards guys because they're pretty new, oh, we'll do that one first, look at that, the voice of the heart. That's really lovely, aqua blue, that might be a colour for you, like a turquoisey um, colour. The voice of the heart, I silence the fear in me and discover the voice of my heart. The fruit of these words guides me. I trust the song of my soul. My intuition leads me on the path of light. That's gorgeous. I've got that song in my head again. No, I'm going to live the light on. <laughs> I'm going to live the light on. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Lighthouse here. Yeah? I accept every step that life presents me without resistance. I try to find out what the universe is trying to teach me so that I can grow. Thus, I advance in freedom on the path of light. A lot of you have got freedom now. And maybe you need to realise you have got the light and you're protected as well by angels. Right, wisdom. God has a plan for me. I live here now. Knowing beauty is to come. 
I don't force things to happen faster than the universe has decided for me. I learn from my experiences. Take small steps in faith and succeed. Thanks to all my efforts. So you are a lot wiser now. You are. And you've taken the right steps to where you're going. I love that. That looks more like a vase, doesn't it? Blue, purple, healing colour that is. It might not look purple on there, but it's purple and blue. So you've got purple and blue, got purple again there, and the turquoise and a navy blue. I've just done my hallway navy blue, like a sapphire blue. They're yeah, lovely, them. Nice cards, didn't they? Right, let's get you a card from... I just wanted to get this, so it's a bit more... Cheap. You're going to have money, you know. I can feel money. Money, money, money. <laughs> money, money, money. Are they my cards with really small writing? Yep, I think so. Not too small. What we got on the bottom? Take care of the little things. The river of God has plenty of water. It provides a bountiful harvest of grain, for you have ordered it so... Isn't that lovely? What's she holding? A rose. Loads of flowers. That's loads of abundance that is around you. Probably, you are probably receiving little things. Maybe the little things matter to you more. Because you are getting a bountiful harvest. For you have ordered it. You are harvesting now what you literally have ordered. So you are harvesting what you sowed. So you're getting abundance now. And you are a happy home. You might be getting a happy home. My people will live in safety, quietly at home. They will be at rest. So you might be finding your home is more happy now. Yeah, my eyes twitching. Maybe you see your home being happy because you've got a happy home. Maybe you're not moving because you will be now quietly at home, meaning you're going to get peace because Jesus is making sure that you will be at rest. Yeah, I love the look at that. Isn't it gorgeous. Jesus watching over the world. God, you must be so disappointed in this world. I'm telling you. That's why you got to keep praying, guys. Because it does change the world. Keep praying. And it does. The more you're uplifting and positive, the more positivity that comes to the earth. And the more demonic everybody is, the more devilish stuff comes. So just, the more you try and make people, like, just be believing in God and Jesus... Leave a trail of love as you walk the earth. Oh, I love this. That's gorgeous. Full moon. I don't know what they're called. You've crossed over a bridge because there's a bridge in the back of this. And um, the full moon. And there's some really um, strong, like, roots from trees that are there. So, obviously, you're very strong or you've got firm foundations. I can't remember what these are called, these flowers. My friend Kezia, she loves these. They're like white and they're like they look like feathers and they grow in the garden oh lord what a variety of things you have made in wisdom you have made them all there's a bridge in the back of there so you might have crossed over that bridge and you've come to the other side i think there might be a full moon coming soon i'm not sure don't quote me on it see them there look i don't know what they're called look they look like feathers and they're called something you get them in england in the gardens they give you hay fever a lot. <laughs> they do, seriously. Yes, yeah, so and leave a trail of love as you walk the earth. So I'm saying you have to walk the earth in love. That's basically carried on what I just said about making sure the world is full of love and light and happiness. And everywhere you walk, say to yourself, God, bless where my footsteps land and bless whoever else walks in my footsteps. That's what I do when I, I do praying when I'm walking. And whoever walks past me, I just bless them, like, within myself, with God, and say, just bless the path in which I walk. And you are going to have a happy home. It's going to be very peaceful, especially if you've got Jesus around you. And take care of the little things, okay? Because God has plenty of water. It provides a bountiful harvest of grain. So that means God waters the earth, and he is going to give you what you ordered, okay? So maybe you ordered... Um, a happy, peaceful home. Maybe you just ordered love and just for love and peace on the earth. 
that's what I used to say when I was a kid. That's all I ever wanted was peace on earth, honestly. Right, guys, we're on 3450. Focus on God's love, people. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the spirit. Binding yourselves together with peace. What did I just say? Carried on. Peace on earth. Helicopter. Might have someone watching over you from above. Got a lot of flights going when you're here. Do you live by an airport? Look, helicopter's coming. You're watched over you are. I feel you are. Or oh, you're flying. You're flying higher it comes. My windows are shut. This always happens when I'm on your view. You are watched over. That's a sign from God if I ever had one. Focus on God's love. She's watching over you. And it is resonating because I don't get a lot of plane action here and helicopters. Not only at night we get helicopters. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the spirit. Binding yourselves together with peace. There you go. Oh, I love it. I hope you have a lovely day, guys, honestly. And look after yourselves, okay? Keep loving yourselves. Just remember that tarot is only an energy. Don't get too wrapped up in it. It will make you ill. Try and bring yourself away from tarot a little bit. Don't overly watch tarot, neither. Like, if it's too negative, because you will just get stuck in that. And it can keep you stuck in general. So just, like... See tarot whenever you feel like you need to. If you ever get agitated watching tarot, or me, or anyone else, move away from it. It's not for you. It's angels telling you. If you think, oh, well, 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 well it's not for you, just move away. Because it means you're watching it too much. And you don't want to keep yourself too much in their energy, because this is not your energy. This is only to have a nose in tarot, what's going on in the background with them, or with me. Like, I try and keep it positive sometimes. So... Like I try and interact with you as well, and I want you to have peace. And I do tell you stories sometimes about me, because I want you to know that I am a lot like you. But don't get too into tarot, like, all day, because you'll just be living in that energy, all right, guys? So have a nice day. I might do you a prayer, actually. I've just been guided to do you a prayer. What should we do? Do one I've not done. So much grace. Let's do this one before I go. I just got told to do a prayer because um, you might need it. From his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. So, just relax. God, how do I begin to thank you for your grace? By definition, I am unworthy. And daily I prove this to be true. Every poor decision, every unkind thought... Every sin, large or small, magnifies your grace until it's so immense. It's all I can see. Impossibly, you love me no matter what I do. I don't even have to ask. I think that's what amazes me most of all. Before I even know I need it, it's already given. Freely, graciously, wonderfully, you lavish me with your love and forgiveness. How wholly inadequate are the thanks I offer in return. Yet what else can I do? I thank you over and over and over again for your grace, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, have a lovely day. I will do you another video. Look after yourselves. No, I love you. Thanks for your support and your likes and your shares and just being part of my family. Thanks for all your super chats, all your super thanks. I just appreciate everything, okay? Because this is our channel. It's not just mine. I'm just here to help you in this crazy world. I was guided here to do this. And um, it is different every time. But I'm a collective like you. And uh, I know about life and um, good and bad. So I just want you to know that if you're alone, you're not alone. You're never alone. Start loving yourself and getting to know yourself and being your own best friend, all right? And love God, love Jesus. And keep your prayers up and know that God is watching over you and you are safe. And I love you, God, so much. In Jesus' name, amen. And don't forget, guys, okay? Believe in fairy tales because they are true, all right? Just use your imagination on everything you do. Laugh, giggle, and be silly. And like I always tell you, fix your tiara. And men, 
fix your crown and also go and clean your house. All right, because godliness is next to cleanliness and it is. Show kindness, dance and twirl around. Don't forget, exercise, all right? And just believe in yourself, okay? Believe in yourself because you're beautiful and I love you. Namaste. Thanks for coming to my channel. <laughs>